I am Marcy Cohen, Senior Manager with Sony Electronics Corporate Communications. I've been with Sony for eight years in the PR group, and I've been dealing with the traditional press for about seven of those years, and recently I have spearheaded an effort within Sony Electronics to launch a social networking initiative. Um, about a year and a half ago, uh, we launched a Sony Electronics blog, and um, the host of that blog is my boss, Rick Clancy, who's the Senior Vice President of Sony Electronics. And Rick, um, you know, Rick and I had this idea to launch a, a blog, and we actually took it to the top of the company, to the top executives, Sir Howard Stringer, and who's the chairman of Sony globally, and they were really excited about it. And that was really the beginning of our um, social networking interaction. Great. Now, tell me a little bit about we, you went from a blog to deciding you wanted to have a community presence, right. and that's a, that's a shift. I mean, it goes from you're the content to let's get the whole community talking. Right. What's that shift like and why did you make the change? Sure. So we decided to revamp our Sony Electronics blog into a much more interactive community site with um, video, photos, um, podcasts, uh, uh, links to our Facebook page, our Twitter profile, our YouTube channel, our Flickr page, um, and really create um, a much more interactive two-way dialogue with our with our consumers. Um, and the reason we decided to do that was because the blog was very successful in helping us hear from our consumers. They were able to um, voice their opinions, tell us what they liked, tell us what they didn't like about our brand, our products, our service, and um, we wanted to be able to enhance that and give them even more of a voice. And the site launched uh, this past week, uh, right before CES 2009, uh, in beta. And um, the reason we launched in beta was just really we wanted to get it up in time for CES. And uh, we're actually reaching out to our users and asking them to help us come up with a name for the site. Right now, it's just sony.com slash electronics blog. And um, we're going to be working over the next couple of weeks to upload um, the newest feature to the community site, which is uh, user profiles. So users will be able to upload pictures of themselves, or their dog, or an avatar, whatever they want, um, and pictures of products they like, just anything that they want, and um, it'll also be able to track any comments that they make on the Sony Electronics blog or any other community site that Sony runs. Tell me just a little bit about what this means for, say, customer outreach, and what's the difference now between uh, calling an 800 number and getting into the community platform. <laughs> One of the really wonderful outcomes of this social networking initiative and the community site and the blog has been that it's provided a resource for consumers who perhaps you know might be having a service problem with their product and really have nowhere to turn. They've you know they've called our 1-800 number and um, you know maybe they didn't get the answer that they wanted or they got put on hold and they're they're pretty frustrated by the time they reach us um, on the blog and uh, we get some pretty in-depth explanations of what kinds of uh, customer service issues our, our uh, customers have and we actually embrace them and try to help them with their problems and actually uh, you know bring our, our, uh, our service group into the loop and um, have them deal directly with these customers and very often we're able to help them with their problems and they then go right back on the blog and as frustrated as they were before they have become so happy and they're you know touting our products and our service and we've really you know turned them around and that that's really um, you know great ROI I think for having a site like this we're providing a great resource for people when they're really in need and, and are not really sure where to turn now, uh, company company specific. Can you talk just a little bit about what it was like to use the awareness product to do that? Sure. Now uh, you evaluated a few, I'm sure. Yeah. So when we decided to um, launch a social networking uh, platform, we talked to a whole bunch of different companies um, about about the service and about their service and about helping us launch this platform. And we decided to go with Awareness Networks. And they've been really wonderful to work with. Um, we actually had a pretty tight timeline. We knew that we needed to get this up in time for CES. And um, 
you know, with our legal contract process, it took a little bit of time to get them on board. Um, and once we did, they knew that they had a pretty tight timeline in launching it. And they have been nothing short of terrific to work with. They've, um, you know, been available to us on holidays, um, you know, from their vacations. And and um, they've got some really cool tools that we've been able to implement on our site. Um, and I think what you're seeing right now on the Sony Electronics community site is just the tip of the iceberg. They've got a lot of new cool applications that we're gonna, they're going to be launching and we're going to be implementing into our site. I think our goal for 2009 is to take what we've done and really bring it to the next level. And I think the, the beginning of that was the launch of this community site. I see that moving towards the launch of what we're calling neighborhood sites that are more product specific or service specific. So people who are real enthusiasts for specific products, let's say our bios, will have a place where they can turn to talk to us, the manufacturer, and talk to like-minded individuals about our products. That's great. That's really good.